Welcome to today's class. Today we are going to check plays and more specifically the text of a play, that is the dialogue. A play is a form of literature written by a playwright, usually consisting of dialogue between characters. It is intended for a theatrical performance rather than just writing or reading. The term play can refer to both the written text of playwright and to their complete theatrical performance. A play is a piece of writing which can be seen at the theater or on television or even heard on the radio. And a play is usually watched rather than being read. The people who appear in a play are actors. In a theater, they stand on a stage so the people watching, that is the audience, can see them better. The director helps actors work better or tells them how he wants the play to be. Plays can be very interesting because they can be understood in many different ways. When the writer makes the play, he cannot say how the actors or directors will use it. Sometimes the playwright is also the director or an actor but the director can change the play in different ways. So, as we said, plays are stories that are acted out. On paper, for example, plays are made up mostly of dialogue or words that describe specific scenes or actions. Dialogue is introduced by the speaker's name, usually followed by a column. And we can see an example here, Dr. Lopez, and the name is followed by the column. Written plays also include stage directions. Stage directions are often in italics and usually in brackets or in parentheses. And the example we have in our books is referring to Dr. Lopez, looks at the papers inside the folder we can see that this information is in brackets. And when a play is performed, the information in brackets is not said aloud. The stage directions help actors know how to move or what emotion to show. The stage directions also describe the setting of the play. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.